Hi pals, it's Rich and I'm back. Our mission was to put together the coolest SpongeBob Aquarium. We found plenty of good bikini bottom decorations including SpongeBob's pineapple, Squidward's house, the chum bucket, and even the Krusty Krab. But nothing was good enough for Patrick's Rock or Sandy's Tree Dome. So we made our own custom tree dome for Sandy. Rock for Patrick, bikini bottom, flower backdrop, and an awesome tunnel of glove. It wasn't easy, but we kept trying until we accomplished our mission. Let us know in the comments, which is your favorite feature of our aquarium? And do you think we created the world's coolest SpongeBob fish tank? Let us know, pals. Enjoy the video. And set up the fish tank? Yeah! And what do you think we should set it up like? Bikini Bottom! Who do you guys like at Bikini Bottom? I am Square Pants! Who's that? The guy who lives in the pineapple. What goes in the tank first? Rocks! Take your rinsed rocks, put them in your tank, dump them out nice, nice and slowly. What you're going to have is a tunnel that's lit up that the fish can go all the way through the back, back, and out the other side. Yeah, this is our custom made background. This was no joke to make. Uh, no joke to make? No joke to make, Cooper. We got where the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket are going to go. You can see we've got our tube in place, kind of. That's where it's going to kind of go. That's where the tube's coming out. And the tube. Going in is right there. The fish can go in there. Payana. <laughs> All right, now we got the retaining walls and the tubes buried. It's getting built up pretty cool. I think we got to get a little higher, and then we're gonna put in Sandy's tree dome up top to overlook the rest of Bikini Bottom. All right, here we go, and we've got Sandy's tree dome in place up on her pavilion. Let's get in the tank and take a look. And here is your custom made tree dome, all ready for your bikini bottom Toy Pals TV Aquarium. Okay, Lena, who do you want to put into the aquarium? What's that? The Krusty Krab. Okay, do you know where the Krusty Krab's gonna go? Turn it like this. This way? Yeah. How about like that? That's it. Okay, Co Cooper, what are you gonna put in the aquarium? Some biscuits. Okay, good. Bring it over to the aquarium. Right there? No, right there. There? Yes. Okay, right there. So here we go. We're getting close to the end. We're experimenting with a lot of the plants we have, the coral we have, and other stuff. And I think that this is close to the configuration that we're going to be using. Alright, Bikini Bottom is starting to get full of water. Whoa! Look, underwater, above water. And notice, filling it up through the hose, outside. Now let's hope Sandy's tree dome stays waterproof. Well, we got problems. <laughs> we got problems. We got problems. Not enough ballast. <laughs> Not enough ballast. We've got technical problems. We got technical problems. <laughs> tree dome's floating. We got a floater. It's not a tree dome. It's a tree float. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Well. Uh oh, there she goes. She's on the loose. Sandy's on the loose. I like it like this. This is great. Oh come on. Come on, Sandy. Open the hatch. Drain it down. So the problem, I think, is we put rocks in the bottom. I put rocks in the bottom of the tree dome, but not enough. Look at it. It's floating high too. Okay, the last time we tried to put Sandy in, she floated. So this is an airtight bubble, but she's in. It's the tree dome, it's airtight. So now we've got this big piece of slate underneath and we're gonna see if she floats or if she sinks. Will she float or will she sink? All right, here we go, Sandy. We're going up, we're going up. Yes, she 
it stays down. It holds it down. Awesome. So let's see if she actually is gonna fit in here good. Here we go, Sandy. There's Sandy. Sandy sinks. Okay, Sandy. Good job, Sandy. You're something. Yay. All right. All right, now we're filling the tank up. Sandy's in place. We're filling it up, and then we're gonna put all the plants and finishing touches on it. Daddy. You're supposed to put, you're supposed to put SpongeBob next to his house. And you put Patrick next to his house. Why do you put Squidward on top of his house? We gotta get fish? Yeah! Oh wait, that's what the aquarium's for, is fish? Yeah! yeah. And for dirty fish and fish too! Hey, where's that? We want fish! We want fish! Here's the side view of the aquarium. You can see a very lush aquarium. Yeah, a lot of different plants. Bikini Bottom is a very lush place. You can see some of the lights underneath. So there's the aquarium. There's only one thing left to do. Okay guys, where are we going? Petco! What are we gonna get? Fish! We're gonna go to Petco to get some fish? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Go ahead. Daddy, I was wearing a taco. Who was? The doggy. No way. He did everything for you. The taco in a hot dog costume? A taco kitty! She's orange After a lot of careful examination and shopping, we found some starter fish for our tank. We've got six different tetras, so we were real happy about that. What do you got there, Cooper? Fishies. And Elena? Fish food. Hi, Jake. All right. Hi, Jake. So we got our fishies. And what you're supposed to do when you get new fishies is you're supposed to put the bag in the top and let it float in the tank. You let it float in the tank so that it can get used to the temperature. Look, they're all ready to go. They're like, what? We want to go check out this tank. Look how cool it is. Two hours later. Who are we going to call him? We're going to call him Cooper? Booty Rock. We're going to call him Booty Rock? Yeah. Okay, let's get Booty Rock. Here's Booty Rock. Booty Rock's the first one going. There he goes. Booty Rock. Hi, Booty Rock. Hi, Booty Rock. Now it's time for sandwich. Now it's time for sandwich? Yeah. The next one's called Sandwich? No! Well, and let Elena name the next one. What's this one? Uh, mine's gonna be Mason. Okay, Mason. here's Mason, and there's another one. So, Mason and, and Sandwich. And, Mason. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that's Mason and that's Elena. They're together again. Okay. And, uh, and Cooper, your last one's gonna be Sandwich. Okay. My last one's gonna be Sandwich. Huh? He oh, called yeah. us. One. They're cute. They love you, Cooper. I don't need one. Oh, Nina! That's sandwich! Those guys are just hanging out in the bottom. Where's Sandwich? There's some more guys in there. He's there's one there. There's two more. I want you guys going to name them. Here, what's this guy? Name one a name. Bowser. Bowser, all right. And the last, the last one. Me! Daddy names the last one. He did the tank. This one is called... Slick. Slick. Hi, Sandy. Call, I want to call him Will Slick. No, That's was, a good name, It though. was my name to name. I named him Slick. Okay, so let's give our new fish a tour of Bikini Bottom. First off is Patrick's Rock. And, and the fish want to get out of the tank. Yeah. And then next is Squidward's house. And Squidward's sitting right on top. 
and then we move over to SpongeBob's Bob, house. Bob SquarePants. Oh, these fish are checking out. You like his house? That's yeah, SpongeBob's they're, house they're, fish. Why they're following each other? I don't know. Look how cool. It's got, hey, they're following my Vikings. It's got rocks. The same SpongeBob Bob rocks, and then following Bob. the road down, Bob. we have what do we have next, guys? The chum bucket and Mr. Krabs and Krusty Krab, Krusty Krab, the Krusty Krab. And of course, the proprietor of the Krusty Krab, everyone's favorite, Mr. Krabs. And then in the back, we have Sneaky Plankton. There's Sneaky Plankton back there. Mommy, I'm going to use and, no when there's any fish in the house. And then we have the SpongeBob Tunnel of Love. There's the Tunnel of Love. It goes way down. Who's going to go and go over to Dark House? And up top, we've got what? SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy's Tree Dome. The tree dome, which was such a real ordeal to make. Then we have over here is Jellyfish Fields. Look, the jellyfish. Oh, this is one of SpongeBob's favorite things to do is jellyfishing. Jellyfish Fields. So there you have it, pals. You let us know in the comments. Is this the world's coolest SpongeBob bikini bottom aquarium fish tank? I think so. What was your favorite feature about it? Was it Sandy Cheek's tree dome? Was it Patrick's rock? Was it the tunnel of glove? All right, pals, here are some of the figures we have. First, you got Mr. Krabs with a, a treasure chest of gold behind him. Obviously looking real happy that he's got his treasure. He's holding gold in his hand. And then next we got Patrick Star, he's just happy. Hi guys, I'm happy. Very cool. And then next we've got who? The maniacal plankton. Looks like he's controlling some type of large robot device with the two big joysticks and a big shell background. Plankton always up to something, no good. Trying to get the Krabby Patty formula. And Squidward trying to find some peace with himself playing a bongo. Squidward thinks that he is very musically inclined, but maybe he thinks he is more than he really is. And next we got, ooh, everybody's favorite, Sandy Cheeks. But we're not going to use her in the aquarium because we got Sandy in her tree dome without a water tank on her head. So, but she is cool, Sandy Cheeks. Everybody's favorite little pet. Wow, Gary. Gary's pretty big. I don't know why he's so big. These figures are not in proportion to each other. They all are except for him. So this is like a huge Gary run amok. So I don't know, Gary. And the man of the hour, SpongeBob SquarePants. And he looks silly as normal. Doing something real goofy. That's just Spongebob for you. He's saluting. All right, Spongebob. All right, here is the chum bucket figure that we're using for the aquarium. All these guys are kind of small. These buildings are kind of small, but we did it on purpose so we had a little bit more room. So that's the chum bucket. Let's take a look at his big competitor, the Krusty Krab. Here is the Krusty Krab. Very cool. And then let's take a look at the pineapple. This is SpongeBob's house. Under the sea. And finally, oh, not finally, but next is Squidward's Tiki House. Really cool. 
Goodwood Tiki House is real neat. And here is Patrick's Rock. We had to make a special rock for Patrick because there was nothing in the market that looks good enough. So, this is the best we could do. This is a coconut bra shell turned upside down with a hole drilled in the middle and two Lego pieces, I think they are, to make his little antenna. So, really cool. And then you have the one of a kind Sandy Cheeks Tree Dome. One of a kind Sandy Cheek. And then you have the one of a kind Sandy Cheeks Tree Dome. You can see it's got our hamster wheel that she uses for exercise. It's got her big oak tree. It's got our picnic table. It's got the chamber to get in and out. And there's Sandy hanging out without her mask because this is airtight and there's no water inside of it. Just like the real tree dome. This was a labor of love here, pals. But we pulled it together. And just because I don't know when to say when and because I just, I don't know, I tend to overdo it. I made this really cool tube and inside the tube I bought this waterproof LED lighting. It's yellow, you can see. And this is just a regular wire tube and I did a hole punch on the inside of it and then I strapped it in there. So then what I did is I made this really long tube and the tube is going to go underneath the big rock formation where Sandy Cheeks, um, where her tree dome is. And so the fish are going to be able to swim through the tube in the lighting out. So that should be a pretty interesting feature of the uh, aquarium. I figured, what the heck? You only live once, let's just waste our time and go crazy. So you can see down the tubing, this is what the fish will see when they go through. And it's all strapped to one side, so there's plenty of room. Not the biggest fish, but little fish can get in there and hide. So if we have big fish, there's a really cool hiding spot for them. So it should be really, really awesome. So, all right, let's see. Hopefully it all works. All right, pals, here is all the special SpongeBob stuff we purchased and or created ourselves. It's the whole collection. It's all going into the aquarium soon. Of course, we've got a bunch of other stuff that's going into the aquarium as well. Um, but we custom made the tree dome, Patrick's rock, and the SpongeBob tunnel of love. We call it the tunnel of love. And we've got everything else that goes with it. So wish us luck, because we need it. And remember, pals, don't be a bully, because nobody likes a bully, especially SpongeBob.